What's up everybody? Welcome back to Scars Whiskey. I'm having a great day. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Today's review is going to be the Nat Sherman 1930. And this size that I'm trying today is the Grand Robusto. It's a five and a quarter by 54 stick. It is a Dominican wrapper, a Dominican uh, binder, and the filler is Dominican and Nicaraguan. So it definitely uh, something I haven't had. I have only had a couple of the Nat Sherman brands. So I thought maybe I'd try something different, figure out what's going on. I got this uh, Nat Sherman from a cigar buddy, uh, Robin. Uh, thanks a lot, buddy, for hooking up a brother with a stick. And uh, I've been anxious to try this. I've seen it. I just haven't taken the time to buy it. So we'll review it together today, and I'll let you know what I think of it. But first of all, you gotta say that the the dark, almost Maduro wrapper. Now I'm a, I'm assuming the wrapper because it's Dominican. It's a Dominican Maduro, but it doesn't really say. And anything I've looked for, I ha can't really. It doesn't say anything other than Dominican. But I can say that Nat Sherman is a uh, the, the cigars that I have had, no problems, no issues. I actually have a a review I did before on it, so you can check that out in the history on my videos. Uh, but man, you can see really minimal and small veins, uh, very tight seams. It's well packed. It's not as spongy as some of the other cigars I try that I really like. Doesn't mean it's bad. We'll find out in a little bit. Uh, but it looks like it's a, a double cap. And so let's go ahead and cut it up and we'll get into the pre draw. I'm using the straight cutter today. It gave me a straight clean cut. I do prefer that with some of these more uh, full pack cigars. Doesn't look like any construction issues. Getting that sweet hay right off the first draw. A little bit of cocoa. And we're getting a little bit of the sweet hay off the, off the foot of the cigar. but. Nothing greater, extravaganza, or anything that was wow, that's different. This looks good, smells good, pre draw is good. Let's go ahead and light it up. Getting a spice right off the bat of like a almost a medium black pepper not too overpowering just barely in between what you would consider black pepper and white pepper uh, getting that sweet hay aroma a little bit of almost cedar but so far let's go ahead and get into the first third and uh, I'll let you know more all right, we're in that first third, uh, checking out this Nat Sherman 1930 Grand Robusto. Uh, flavor's almost like a dry dryness to it. Just It's hanging out. Your mouth feels a little bit dried out. It's not a bad thing. It's just interesting for me. I've never had cigars that dry out the palate. At least this one, in my opinion, to me today right now. Uh, but I would suggest having a beverage nearby. And again, as I've always said, anyone who asks the question, what should I drink with a cigar? Until you've kind of understood the, the, complex, the complex flavors of your cigar, if there are any, or the straightforward profile of the cigar you're smoking, I recommend water. Water is the best way just to rinse the palate so you don't cover it or add other, other sensations or other flavors that might, you might think the cigar is giving when it's not. But also, in the, in the sense, sometimes beverages enhance or change the profile setting for a cigar. All depends on what you like and how you like smoking cigars. Some people like stuff with them, some people don't. Some people smoke with water, some don't. I mean, it's just whatever your opinion is. Just like anything in life, you make the choice, you decide what you want to do, and that's how you enjoy the cigar. So we're back with our second hit. Welcome back everybody for the second third of our review, the Nat Sherman 1930. Uh, I did want to let you know if you are going to look for this cigar, one of the places I know that does sell it is JR Cigars, so jrcigar.com or cigars.com, don't quote me on it, I'll have a link below 
and a little bit about this called the 1930 because uh, it's a collaboration with Nat Sherman and Manuel Consada and Manuel Consada the 1930 represents for him the first year he got into the tobacco industry now any more history than that I'm not sure if he was a roller if he was a grower if he was an owner I don't know but that's how he got involved in tobacco and cigars so kind of a collaboration that's why there's the Dominican and the Nicaraguan uh, but man second third of this cigar we're starting to get a little more of the black pepper spice which I like and I believe that's the uh, Nicaraguan coming through um, less cocoa get a little bit of saltiness uh, to the cigar not a great overpowering amount of saltiness but just a little bit you notice it and I gotta say fabulous cigar uh, we again this was a gift I got from my buddy Robin so hats off uh, the prices probably range between seven and nine dollars I'm not sure I really didn't look up a price I do apologize for that you normally I'll have it try the cigar see what you think if you're a fan of that Sherman and you haven't had the 1930 try this collab comp collaboration between Manuel Casada and that Sherman and we'll be back with our final third did check the price for you uh, JR cigars has it for uh, 23760 and that's a box of 24 and that's on their website right now I know they're also giving uh, some coupons and discounts on shipping if you sign up if you haven't done that sometimes that comes in handy saves a little bit of money on your shipping cost or off the price of your your purchase so check it out again this is not any way endorsed plug for JR just letting you folks know where you can find this cigar welcome back everybody for the final third review of the Nat Sherman 1930 Gran Robusto in the final third no new changes uh, to the cigar profile we are going to a, a full medium strength cigar it might be just starting to get to the full cigar but not too bad I'm not uh, nothing complex about it it's just a straightforward cigar profile uh, with the tobacco from Dominican and Nicaragua and I'm saying the peppers is mellowing out now in the final third getting a little more of that uh, getting kind of like a bitter coffee that might be a new profile but that's what it seems like it's coming to as you can see it's not burning razor sharp uh, but that's okay it's corrected itself a couple times when it's burned off so that's a good thing the construction is holding up really well no issues with the top with the wrapper coming off any cracking any burn holes any uh, tunneling nothing so great construction I give it uh, the top quality you can get for that all in all a good cigar if you haven't tried I do suggest you uh, check it out get one wherever you can and again as I said earlier JR cigars Dot com has it and you can pick it up there but if you like this video please hit like and subscribe always leave your comments thanks again for tuning in to scars and whiskey have a great day have a great smoke and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.